I'm gonna be getting a turtle shot because my migraine hurts really badly, so I'm gonna show you me getting it ready. I'm turning the camera away because I don't want you to see me retching. I, I like, I can't, can't, can't endure this any longer. And <laughs> I, I can't wish I could explain what this is like. If you get migraines like I do, like this, I don't always share this with you guys because it's so common for me. And I feel like I'm not trying to scare people away from watching the videos, but this is very common for me. And yeah, I'm in a lot of pain, so it's gonna give me an injection in my hip. I used to give it to myself in my legs, but I got so much scar tissue in my legs from giving myself injections that I can't do it anymore. There's no good tissue in my legs. So these are the fill of alcohol wipes. And I'm getting a turtle injection because I have my migraine. It's just worse and I don't want to take that last migraine pill and this should help. I'm just frustrated, it is what it is. So here's my vial. The bigger the gauge, the easier it goes into the body. I usually use 25 gauge. Opening to a 22 gauge needle would be like this, and then a 25 gauge opening would be smaller. Three milliliters is how much the syringe holds. And my syringe, this is my 25 gauge and one and a half inch needle. So what I do is I twist this on tighter. Sterile, so I always take the needle, twist it on. I always pull the syringe just to give it a little bit of a pump. And then I prime it because sometimes it's hard to pull the plunger down. Now when you draw medication into a needle, you wanna first pull the syringe to whatever the measurement is. So I'm pulling it up into the two right here. And then I pull it down to the number two, because that's how many milliliters I'm going to be pulling in. The thing about these little things is you actually have to push the air in to get the liquid out. So I'm going to flip the cap off. Once I flip the cap off, I don't want to touch anything on there because it's sterile. I uh, pop the green part off. Oh, hey. And then I Tighten it and I gently pull the cap off. I put the cap where I'm gonna find it again. Put the needle into the here. And I'm going to, I'll show you, I'm gonna push the air into this so that I can actually pull the medicine out. And then I don't wanna to touch the top here cause this is sterile and I put it in here, which is just, there's a little passageway and put it into the, the Ketorolac. And then what I do is I push the air in and automatically, as it displaces itself, it will automatically, you'll see the plunger go down and it will pull all of the fluid out Oh, I forgot. Did these only have one? Oh, okay. Well, this only had one cc in it, so I didn't know that. I need to go get another because we're going to be injecting two cc's into me. Cap on. Get another one out. The, the ones I used to have, um, they were purple capped and they were two milliliters. And then there's 30 milligrams per milliliter, so I take 60 milligrams. Oftentimes when they give it to you IV, they'll give you 30 milligrams. I have the milliliter in here, actually I have more than that. And I'm gonna draw down again to the two because I'm gonna push that air into this one. Okay, do the same thing. It's hard because when I have a migraine, sometimes I have blurry vision, so looking at something this little and then you can kind of see the tip of the needle although things that are magnified look closer than they are all right and now the plunger is going to come out by itself again 
and I can make it go faster if I want. You don't have to do that. You can just withdraw it if you want. And they put a little bit more in the vial than you need because you can't pull every single drop out. And then I always have the bad misfortune of this when you pull it out. Sometimes it pees on you, so I do that. In another video I have of this, it peed on me, and I'll show you. I think I know where that video is. And then pull it out, and it just peed on me. Pull it out, and it just peed on me. So I'm covered in Toradol now. So then you want to, oh yeah, I have more than two in here. That's right. You want to push the it up so that you push all the air bubbles out. So you flick it and then you push it up a little bit and there should be some Pitorolac coming out this top. And I'm going to cap it. I put the cap back on. Now, if I were going to be doing an injection in my leg, which I can't do anymore because my leg is so full of scar tissue from when I was doing nine injections a week, three of Toradol and six of Benadryl. But if I was gonna give it to myself and my legs, I would kind of um, grab the muscle here on the side of my leg. I can't show you with one hand, but I would clean it, squeeze the muscle, then put the needle in, pull out a little bit, make sure I don't get any blood return. If you get blood return in an IM injection, it's bad. It means you have the needle in the wrong place and you could kill yourself. So you, if you get any blood return, you pull it out. I've only got one return one time and it's super rare. We, I've done probably well over a thousand injections. It just means you have it in the wrong place. If you don't get blood return, then you just get the injection and pull it out. The best way is to do a darting motion, do it really fast. If you push slowly through yourself, it's going to hurt. So that's why I give neat injections fast. They generally recommend to push the plunger in slowly and then pull it back out. If you can do the injection right, the only thing that should be painful would be the medication because Toradol is a painful medication to inject. There are other medications that aren't painful, like Benadryl is not a painful medication to inject. I can't remember if the diphenhydramine, the DHE, I don't remember if that was painful. It made me really sick, so I only did it like once or twice. I bite my finger because it's the best way I can take care of the pain because it is a painful injection. You'll see I bite my finger so that if it is painful, I put in my pain here. I've always done that even if I had like menstrual cramps, I would do that. So it's really your hip that gets the injection. Some people like will pop their leg out to get a different position of how it goes in the hip. I tend to put my legs straight. I also put a pillow underneath my left hip because the way this couch is, I don't want to roll weird. The nurses at the headache clinic would do it standing, but I tend to get a little woozy. I take off my glasses too. And right, he'll tell me he's drawing line right now, and then he's gonna circle from the center out to make sure it's sterile. He's gonna say, okay, that tells me I take a breath in, because sometimes people will hold their breath and then that's not good, they'll pass out. So I take a breath in to make sure I'm breathing because I'm focusing on taking a breath in, I'm not focusing on the needle. And I just don't look at it. I mean, obviously I prepared the needle, but for some reason, just not looking at it helps me ready when you are. Hold on to hope. Don't let go. Don't give up this rest for your weary soul. And time to heal yet. Still you fight with what you're told. And hold on. That was a little bit. Okay. So I, I hold the cotton round in place and we are done. And I said, ooh, ooh, what would you do if you could lose all your burdens? Yeah, and I said, ooh, ooh, my words are few, but I love you. It was really painful. Can put pressure on this and rub it. Sometimes that helps with the pain. I'm happy that's done and hopefully it will help my migraine. I kind of don't want to move. I'm just gonna lay here because my migraine doesn't want me to move. I am laying on the couch still. My rear got a little sore, but nothing too bad. It's 
might have helped like a smidge, but nothing significant yet. Even a smidge is good though. Let me close the curtains because I just, I'm getting more and more light sensitive. I have a neurological disease of my brain called migraine. I do not have nausea right now. I do have a headache that's pretty intense. I'm feeling pretty fatigued. I'm hoping that the Toradol will kick in, so I'm just gonna lay here. This is why they say that migraine is the thief of time, because I can't do anything right now. All I can do is lay here and wait and hope that my rescue med of the Katorlac, the Toradol, will kick in and, and help me feel better. Today's day 20 or 21 of this migraine. Toradol can make me sleepy, so I'm just gonna go with it. If I fall asleep, I fall asleep. I just want to feel better and sometimes you have to fall asleep because there's no sense in pushing through something that is so hellish to live through. You know, listen to the birds and just think about that tortle killing the inflammation in my brain, calming down and everything being peaceful. If I can, I might take turn on my calm app and just listen to some calming sounds. I'm going to say see you later to you guys. I'll be there when you need me You can count on it every